I read Bill, Bill Clinton's autobiography, My Life, and um, saw that Oxford was where he met so many of his lifelong friends. Um, I identified with the person, the boy that he was growing up, not, you know, not having all these connections, right? I mean, I, when I applied to medical school, I didn't know anyone who was a doctor. I mean, I knew my pediatrician, but I didn't know my parents' friends weren't doctors. I wanted to do health policy work. I didn't know anyone who did it. Like I could, you know, see people um, and read about their work, but I didn't know anyone personally. And so Oxford was really important to me for that reason. And so coming out, I had a very good, I, very good idea of what I wanted to do, which was I wanted to finish my residency, my medical training in emergency medicine. And then I wanted to pursue a career in medicine and public health. Although something else happened in that, which was that my mother in that time period, when I was in my medical training, my mother was diagnosed and then um, she was first misdiagnosed and then diagnosed with what turned out to be metastatic breast cancer. And so I ended up taking quite a bit of time. It was a detour of sorts. It was also public health and policy work, but I took a detour to do patient and family centered care. I wrote a book about how to prevent, um, how to avoid misdiagnoses and unnecessary tests. I um, got involved with many organizations that are doing patient and family centered work. I started a center for patient centered care research um, at, at GW. And again, it's this idea of pain and passion and purpose. I never intended to do this work, but it was something that was very painful, helping to be my mother's caregiver in this time that motivated this, um, this passion and, um, and purpose too.